on the season opener of News Wiz 2018. Amit Tapre and Ajinkya Nini representing Abhinav Vidyale English Medium High School, Pune. Anamika S. and Sriram Manoj Nambiar representing Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Chevayur, Koriko. And Tamogna Chakrabarti and Ashwin Arun representing DPS Newtown, Kolkata. back with season three of India's only news quiz that is cool, cutthroat and compelling. That's right, we're back with News Wiz 2018. <laughs> That's right, good things come in threes. Movie trilogies, cricket hat-tricks, and this show, my name is Rajdeep Sardesai and it's an absolute pleasure to welcome you to the third season of Newswits. <laughs> now if your teachers have been urging you to tune in to Newswiz every week, then they've been certainly wise. This year, Newswiz tripled its registration numbers from its first outing with schools from cities ranging from Madgao to Masuri, from Srinagar to Sikandrabad, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, if you think about it. And we have a surprise in store through wildcard entries in the competition. And of course, there's a smarter and dare I say fitter host, that's me. <laughs> One other news with staple remains. That's our clued in news guest. That's right, the friendly faces that sit alongside our teams in the middle of the battle arena, offering advice, support, and hopefully a correct answer or two. The only change this season is that we've broadened our spectrum a little to include many diverse people. You'll meet writers, editors, you name it. And to start season three off with a bang, we've got India Today's special correspondent and anchor, Griha Atul Siddiqui with us. Welcome her. Thank you so much. I'm told that you're self-described as storm in a coffee cup. Well, those, those are just uh, social media profiles and buffoonery on social media. It's just that I'm not a tea person, I'm a coffee person, so I just twisted it around a bit. Are you more nervous doing your morning bulletin or now having to be news guest to these wonderful oh, hands kids? hands down, I'm more nervous sitting in this seat. It's so nerve-wracking. I mean, you know, looking at a news contest, I mean, a news whiz and with these children, I'm sure they are too cool for school. <laughs> Any advice to these kids? Well, you have to go easy on that buzzer. Discuss the answer. I know you don't have too much of time, but just make sure that you really know it well. All the best. Just, just go for it. Okay, then. Time to light things up with the real stars of News Wiz. It's like I told you, season three of News Wiz, it's going to be the toughest ever since the competition to get to the televised rounds was even more cutthroat, even more teams vying for these prestigious spots. Well, if the competition was killer earlier, it's absolutely thermonuclear this time. So put on your hazmat suits and join me as I join them. Please welcome our first team, Amay Tapre and Ajinkya Nene, representing the Abhinav Vidyalay from Pune. Welcome. The two A's, as I'm going to call you. Ajinkya, you share a name with a famous cricketer. Yes, that's I, right. Are you a cricketer or are you someone who I'm told started reading newspapers at the age of three? I'm going to say I'm the second because uh, I'm not really much of a sports person. What is your hobby, Amiya? What is it that excites you? I like wildlife photography. Where have you gone and photographed all these years? Uh, I've gone to Kenya, Mauritius and domestically I've been near the Konkan region and Hyderabad and Goa. It's a pretty impressive list, young man. Amiya and Ajinkya from Abhinav Vidyala in Pune. Give them a big hand. And to cheer the Pune lads on, we have Mrs. Ruchira Tapre and Mrs. Manisha Nene, the mothers of Ame and Ajinkya. Hi there. Hello, sir. Let's turn to our next team. Please welcome Anamika S. and Sriram Manoj Nambia, representing Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan from Chevayur in Kodiko. Kodi. 
Anamika, you're also, I believe, a bit of a reader. Who's your favorite author? My favorite author is Khaled Hosseini. The person who wrote that fantabulous book, The Kite Runner. Wow, yes. that's a pretty impressive person to be reading. And what about you, Sriram? How do you keep yourself occupied when you're not quizzing? Well, I like to play the violin, uh, the guitar. I also like to eat. That's you like fine. to eat? Huh? Eating is a hobby for you. Obviously. You said you play the violin. What do you play on the violin? Anything of interest. I play my own pieces. You play your own pieces. So yeah. you're a budding Yehudi menuhin. <laughs> Not bad. And what about you, Anamika? Apart from reading, what excites you? I'm learning basics of Spanish, a bit of it. Why Spanish? Just because I love Spain. Do you like the bulls of Spain? Do you like the football of Spain? Almost everything. Everything. Okay. Give a big hand to Anamika and Sheena. <laughs> and we have Manoj's parents, Mrs. Deepa Mavila and Mr. Manoj Kamalan. And Anamika's mother, Miss Bindu S. Hello there. Welcome all the way from Kodi Code. Okay, our third team. Please welcome from the lovely city of Kolkata, Tabogna Chakraborty and Ashwin Arun, representing DPS Newtown in Kolkata. <laughs> Tabogna Ashwin, welcome from the city of Kolkata, the city of football. Have you recovered from the World Cup or not? No, there are still some traces. You can still find flags on the streets. I believe you are also a reader of books. I like to read about uh, politics and different topics. Politics especially excites me. I like to debate. Where Who's your favorite politician? Arun Jaitley is one of my favorite politicians. Interesting. I shall tell him that. <laughs> okay. Ashwin, what about you? I like gaming and making memes. What is a meme? Uh, basically, a meme uh, is, a, is a media file that, is, uh, that follows a certain template. So, like, it's spread all over the internet uh, with uh, minor tweaks here and there to make it sound... Uh, you want to show me a meme? Definitely. Let's see. That's you, Razdeep. That's me? Yeah. yeah. I thought that was Justin Bieber. <laughs> no? Okay. Anyway, give a big hand to Ashwin and Damogya. Very innovative. And that's what you're going to have to be intelligent, imaginative, as we tackle news with. That's right. And to join the Newton boys, we have Tabogna's sister, Andrila Chakraborty. Where are you? Hi there. And Ashwin's parents, Dr. P. Arun and Dr. Indu Arun. Ashwin's sister Ankita is also there. Hello there. Okay, folks, stay calm. Be Mahendra Singh Dhoni-like in Newswiz. Always in control of your emotions. All the best to all the three teams. Time then to dispense with the discussions and commence with the questioning. World War Three is about to break out in the world of quizzing. Let's see whose arsenal is the most lethal as we make our first sortie into round one. We call it In the News. In this round on the buzzer, each team must select one set from the given news stream and try and answer all three questions it contains. Each question carries a hundred points. The news guest can help teams with any one question. If teams get stuck, they can ask for the answer to be displayed again as an anagram. But then they can only get 50 points for that answer. Get all three questions without any additional help and you get a 100 point bonus. There's no negative marking and questions don't pass. Hands on the buzzer. Okay teams, you know the rules. Take a look at your in the news options. Okay, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Code, you picked your subject, magazine cover, Fields Medal, name change. Your first question then is on magazine cover for a hundred points. On the cover of which magazine did this young lady recently appear? Vogue India. Are you asking me or telling me? Telling you. It's the right answer. Well done. It is indeed Vogue India. Do you know who that young girl is? It's Suhana Khan. Suhana Khan, the daughter of? Shah Rukh Khan. Not bad. Well done. 100 points to you at the start as the first question. Your second question on Fields Medal is? 
which mathematician of Indian origin was recently awarded the prestigious Fields Medal? The answer is Akshay Venkatesh. Akshay Venkatesh. You're saying it with a sense of certainty. It's the right answer again. Well done. Your third question for 100 points and a possible further bonus is on name change. The Mughal Sarai Junction was recently renamed by what name in Uttar Pradesh, the Mughal Sarai Railway Station? Answer is Deen Dayal Upadhyay. It's the right answer. You've matched the first round. Well done. It is indeed Deen Dayal Upadhyay who was, of course, one of the leaders of the Jansang. The BJP has renamed the station after their former leader. Okay, 300 points then to Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kod plus a hundred points bonus. So you're up to 400 points. Give them a big hand. Well done. Okay, let's then turn to the other two teams and see whether you can replicate what the team from Kodi Kod has done. Come on, Kolkata, Pune. These are your options. Who's going for it? Okay, DPS Newtown, Kolkata. You've gone for recent appointment, arrest, and Asian icon. Interesting. Let's take a look at your first question for a hundred points on recent appointment. Identify this lady who was recently appointed as a Supreme Court judge by the President of India. We are, we are taking the news guest's help. The news guest's help. Alright, I do know there are three judges who are females in the Supreme Court right now, but I'm not very sure of the answer there. You want to go for an anagram? Yeah. Okay, take the anagram. This is your anagram. Your time's up, I'm afraid. Indira Banerjee was the right answer, which I'm afraid you did not get. She's the new woman justice of the Supreme Court. There are three women. The most the Supreme Court has ever had now are Bhanumati and Indu Malhotra are the others. DPS Newton, Kolkata, not to worry. Take a look at your second question, which is on arrest. Who is the director of the accidental prime minister who was recently arrested for tax fraud? Time is up. The correct answer was Vijay Gutte. Your third and final question in that round is on Asian icon. Which footballer was inducted in the Asian icons list on his 34th birthday by the Asian Football Confederation? Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri. Sunil Chetri says DPS Newtown, Kolkata, the city of football. Right answer. Well done. Okay, you've got a hundred points at the end of that round. Let's turn to Abhinav Vidyalay Pune. Time to hit the buzzer and take your options now. Take a look. Okay, you've gone now straight away for Try Kiki Challenge and Master Chef. Let's take a look then at your questions on Try. Who is the chairman of Try who attracted attention for revealing his Aadhaar number on Twitter? It's R.S. Sharma, says Ameya with a strong voice. Right answer. Well done. <laughs> well done, Ameya. Second question to you for another 100 points is on the Kiki Challenge. The internet's latest obsession, Kiki Challenge, involves an individual dancing alongside a moving car to the song In My Feelings by which Canadian rapper? Drake. Drake. Ajinkya, you sound confident this time. It's the right answer again. Well done. Okay, Abhinav Vidyalay Pune, you have a chance to get this third question right and also then get a bonus. Take a look at your third question, which is on Master Chef. Identify this Indian origin winner of Master Chef Australia 2018. We'll take the news test, 
So it's uh, Sashi Chalaya. Sashi Chalaya. Chalaya. Yes. You want to go with Sashi Chalaya? Yes. Sure of it? Yes. It's the right answer. Well done again. It is indeed Sashi Chalaya. Griya has come to your rescue there. And you have 300 points, but you missed out on your bonus because you took the help of the news guest. Let's take a look at the scores at the end of round one. DPS Newtown Kolkata, 100 points. Abhinav Vidyalay Pune, 300. But leading the way, Anamika and Sriram from the Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Kodi Kod with 400. Give them a big hand. I must say I've missed quizzing these fine young minds. So you won't mind if I show you just how fine they are with first another quick peek at the scores. These are the scores at the end of round one. DPS Newton Kolkata, 100 points. Abhinav Vidyalay Pune, 300. Leading the way, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kod with 400. But just before we get into round two, let's meet the family members of our quizzers. Ameya and Ajinkya, both your mothers are here. How did you train your young son at 14 to answer questions with such confidence? I have not given them any training as such. It is their own uh, strengths and whatever reading they do. So it's, it's their own uh, self-built skills that they have. Okay, self-made skills. And I'm told your son, he hasn't taken any help for homework from you since class two. That's true. That's, it's a, that's a pleasure to share with you that uh, when he was in second standard, eight years old, uh, one fine day he came to me and he said that I, all the homework that I do and all the projects that I do, whenever you sit besides me, I'm able to do it in the best possible way. So maybe allow me to do on my own because otherwise, when am I going to learn do the things on my own? Very good. Well done. Let's then turn to the team from Kodi Code, which is leading at the moment. First to Anamika's parents. I'm told your mother sets aside some time every day, ma'am. How do you spend your time with your daughter? Sir, she is the single child, so I must spend some time with her. We share uh, whatever happened in the daytime, and I help her in her studies also. Well, that's a good partnership that's being built. What about Sriram's uh, parents? I'm told uh, Sriram's mother reads Malayalam stories, and he only reads English. So how does this Malayalam-English combination work? I translated to him and <laughs> Acha, you translate it. All the very best. You trained them very well to be good quizzers. Give them a big hand again. Okay, let's then turn to the parents and uh, the sister from Kolkata. Tamogno's sister. I'm told he's a very good cook. Yeah, that he is. So what yeah. does he make? Does he a make good chingri march or not like a good yeah. Bengali? Good Bengali cuisine. It depends on his mood and also on mine. If he if he thinks that, yeah, I should comply to her wishes. Kosha Mangsho? Kosha Mangsho, everything. You'll make but a good husband. <laughs> Ashwin's father, I'm told, regularly quizzes with Ashwin. Oh, it's just a hobby, Rajdeep. We sit across the dinner table and we share some interest in reading. Many a times he ends up reading the same books that I do. And uh, I, I try to get his viewpoint on, on the same thing which I So read. who's the better quizzer, he or you? Uh, he says, uh, I'm the bold team and I'm the old team. Bold ahead of old or old ahead of bold. Either way, thank you all very much for being here because it's time now to head into our crucial second round. This is the round where you could score big. Remember, there's always a story that sets newsrooms and smartphones abuzz. Sometimes it's a story about hope and courage like the saga of the Thai school boys who were stuck in a cave. But sometimes it's a little starker. But whatever its nature, there's always that one story that dominates above all others. Here then is this week's Dhamaka news piece, which we're going to play as our top story. In this round, we show you six questions related to our top story. Each team is assigned a question and they can try and answer for 100 points. Other teams can press the buzzer at any time but can only answer if the assigned team misses it. The correct answer on a pass could get you 100 points. But if it's wrong, that's minus 50. If no team gets the answer, we'll show you four possible answers and all teams can buzz for a chance to answer. If a team answers a question at this stage, it can earn 50 points or lose 50 if it's wrong. Let's play. 
This week's top story, my dear friends, is Assam's NRC, the National Register of Citizens. The first question on NRC is to Abhinav Vidyale Pune, Ame and Ajinkya, the two A's. Your question is, which Prime Minister signed the Assam Accord that Amit Shah recently claimed was similar to the National Register of Citizens or NRC? Jawaharlal Nehru. Ajinkya says Jawaharlal Nehru. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. Nobody else has buzzed in. These are your options to the question. Take a look. Anybody can buzz. Yes, DPS Newton, Kolkata has buzzed. Rajiv Gandhi. Rajiv Gandhi, you're saying. Is that a guess? It's an educated guess. Good answer. Rajiv Gandhi is the right answer. The Assam Accord was signed in 1985 between representatives of the government of India and the leaders of the Assam Students Movement. Rajiv Gandhi was the Prime Minister at the time. 50 points to DPS Newton on that Passover. The second question is to Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kodi. What is the cutoff year prescribed by the NRC for being a resident in Assam? to make a legitimate claim to Indian citizenship under the NRC. Nineteen seventy-five. Nineteen seventy-five is what you're saying. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. Anyone else wants to try? Take a look at your options. Who's buzzing? First January 1966. 1st January 1966 says DPS New Town, Kolkata. I'm afraid that's the wrong answer. Anyone else? Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kodi, yes. 24th March 1971. 24th March 1971 says Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kodi. It's the right answer, well done. The applicants needed to prove that they or their ancestors were citizens on or before 24th March 1971. That was the cut-off date that was agreed during the Assam Accord of 1985. The third question on the NRC is to DPS Newton, Kolkata. Your chance to make up lost ground. Which former Indian president's relatives were left out of the NRC draft that were released on 30th of July? Pranam Mukherjee. That's the wrong answer. Abhinav Vidyalaya, you buzzed. Yes. Fakhruddin Ali Ahmad. Fakhruddin Ali Ahmad, you're saying with some conviction it's the right answer. Well done. The family of Ziauddin Ali Ahmad, the nephew of the former president Fakhruddin Ali Ahmad, was not included in the second draft of the NRC, reportedly for the lack of relevant papers. Well done, Amir. You're up to 400 as well. The gap is closing at the top. And the next question is to Abhinav Vidyale Pune, again on the NRC. Who oversaw the process of updating the NRC in Assam as its Supreme Court mandated state coordinator? Your time is up. Anyone else wants to hit the buzzer? These are your options. Take a look. Abhina Vidyale Pune, you've gone for it. Yes. Pratik Hajela, option C. Wonderful answer. Well done. <laughs> Anamika Sriram, the next question is to you. The actress turned politician in this picture in the center is seen protesting against the Assam NRC. Which political party does she belong to? Trinamool Congress. Trinamool Congress says Sri Ram. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. I'm going to give you the options now. Take a look at the options. DPS Newton, Kolkata, yes. Samajwadi Party. Tamogna, you say Samajwadi Party is the right answer. Well done. You know who that was? 
Jaya Bhaduri, now of course Jaya Bachchan, the wife of Amitabh Bachchan, she is a Rajya Sabha MP and they were protesting in front of the Gandhi statue in parliament over the NRC issue. DPS Newton now to catch up. Last question in this round is to you. A Trinamool Congress delegation of eight MPs and MLAs were detained at which airport over security concerns regarding the NRC. Abhinav Vidyalai has buzzed, but the question is to DPS Newtown. Silchar Airport. Silchar Airport is what you're saying, Ashwin. It's the right answer. Well done. It is indeed Silchar Airport in Assam where they were detained because of a possible law and order situation in the Barak Valley. You're up to 250 points. Well done. At the end of that round, take a look first at the scores. We've got DPS Newtown, Kolkata, 250 points. And we've got a tie at the top between Abhinav Vidyalay Pune, Amiya and Ajinkya, 450. And Anamika and Sriram, Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan, Kodi Kod, also with 450. But remember, we are only halfway through. Lots of field action still ahead on Newsways. Who will bite the bullet and who will fall? We'll soon find out. But first, we've got an extra special viewer question just for you guys at home. Team, the Football World Cup ended just weeks ago, but I still can't get Pogba and Modric out of my head. But here, in this beautiful game, we have our own match scores to follow. Take a look at the scores at the moment. DPS Newtown, Kolkata, 250 points. Abhinav Vidyalay, Pune, 450. Bharatiya Vidya, Bhavan, Kodi Kod, also with 450. Gria, have you seen such a close game in the World Cup? It's absolutely exciting, Rajdeep. In fact, I'm, I'm a bundle of nerves myself. I'm rooting for the underdogs right now. At the moment, I'm sure you guys will come back stronger. Okay, good. The underdogs always have a chance in news with particularly as we move into round three because if you believe the internet aliens built the great pyramid of giza and neil armstrong's real name was nalin adhikari well not quite but there is a lot of misinformation out there that's why you need to use our trusty gyan portal wisely so teams be swift be smart be combative because we are now playing our third round we call it match time. In this round, each team is assigned one question. You'll see five images related to one topic with eight possible options. Teams have 75 seconds in which to match all five images with their correct answers. For every correct match, you get 50 points. One team member can search the internet for the right answers through our Gyan portal. In the last 30 seconds of the challenge, you can ask for the news guest's help. If you get all five answers correct without the news guest's help, you get a 100-point bonus. Will you meet your match? Okay, teams, this is your chance to build on your scores. The first match time question goes to the two A's, Amiya and Ajinkya from Abhinav Vidyale Pune. This is your subject. Take a look. Match these newly elected heads of state or government with their countries. Who's going to come to the Gyan portal and who's going to play match time with me? I'm going there, he's staying here. Okay, Ajinkya is coming to the Gyan portal. I will be with Amiya as we play match time. These first are your images. Take a look carefully. Imran Khan, Pedro Sanchez, Omar Razaz, Giuseppe Conte and Emerson Nangagwa. Take a look at your options. Your time has started. Google the middle three. Yeah. Emerson Nangagwa is Zimbabwe. Emerson Nangagwa is Zimbabwe. Okay. Imran Khan is Pakistan. Imran Khan, you are saying is Pakistan. Pedro okay. Is Spain. Uh, Pedro, Pedro Sanchez, Sanchez is Spain. Spain. Pedro Sanchez, you are saying is Spain. Google Omar Razaz. Yeah. Uh, Jordan. Omar Razaz is Jordan. Omar Razaz, you want to go for Jordan? Okay. Giuseppe Conte. Yeah. One more. Your time is reaching the 30 second mark. Uh, you can take Italy. the help of Italy. the news guest. Italy. And Giuseppe Conte is Italy. 
Giuseppe Conte's Italy, you're saying? Yes. Should I lock it all in? Yes. No checking? No. no. Okay, no Amiya, you're very confident for a 14-year-old. Lock it in. Come on in, Ajinkya. Let's see if you all have managed to strike it rich today. You said Emerson Nangagwa, Zimbabwe, is the right answer. Well done. You then went and said Imran Khan, Pakistan, which was possibly the easiest. Right answer again. The former cricketer who now is set to become Prime Minister of Pakistan. Pedro Sanchez, you said Spain. Are you sure? Yeah. Yes. It's the right answer. Well done. You took a bit of help from the Gyan portal for Omar Raza's Jordan. But you guessed right. It's the right answer again. And finally, you went with Giuseppe Conte for Italy. Well done. You've got them all right. 250 points plus 100 points bonus. 350. The two A's are striking it rich. Okay, let's turn to our second team. Anamika and Sriram from Kodi Kod. This is your chance to also prove that you're just as good. Your subject is match these international football teams with their nicknames. Who's going to the Gyan portal? Sriram. Okay, Sriram's going there. Anamika, let's take a look then at what are the teams. France, Argentina, Germany, Brazil, Belgium. And these are the options. Search everything except Belgium. Search Bel everything except Belgium because you know Belgium, you're saying. Okay, what is Belgium? Belgium is the Red Devils. France Belgium is, is the Red blues. Devils. Okay. France is uh, Les Blues. Les Bleus. Uh, yeah. Les Bleus is France. Uh, Germany is Die Mannschaft. Germany is Die Mannschaft. Okay. Search Argentina. Fast, fast, fast. Argentina and Brazil. Patient, you've got 40 seconds. You can take your chances. Just cue in the names on Gyan Portal. You'll get it. La, uh, la, uh, yeah, uh, that's Argentina. Oh, yeah. Argentina is La Albi Celeste. La Albi Celeste. You're Just saying it's Argentina. Uh, okay. Fast, fast, fast. Ten seconds. Fast, no. fast. No. Uh, Go Azuri, for it. Azuri, 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 Azuri. Lock Azuri. Azuri. Lock Azuri for Brazil. You said okay. Come on in, oh. Sri Ram. Ooh, yo, you are getting tense there. Relax. Belgium. You said the Red Devils, Anamika. You sure know your football. Right answer. Well done. It is the Red Devils. They wear the red shirts. Le Bleu, you said for France, the World Cup champions. Right answer again. Die Mannschaft, you said for Germany. Right answer. You know your German. Then you use the Gyan portal to say La Albi Celeste for Argentina. The team of the great Maradona and now Messi. Right answer again. And then on Brazil, where you just had to punch Brazil colors, you went and said Azuri. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. The right answer would have been Selesau. Selesau means the selection in Portuguese. Okay, let's then turn to the team from Kolkata. Tamagna and Ashwin, let's see what you're getting as your match time subject. Match these movies with their genres. Who's staying here? Who's see? going to the Gyan portal? I'll be going to Okay, Gyan. Ashwin's going to the Gyan portal. These are the movies. Infinity War, Fantastic Beast 2, A Quiet Place, Ready Player One, Mulk. And these are your options. One minute. Take a look at your options first. Infinity War, 
is uh, superhero. Infinity War superhero. Sure of it? Yes. Put it in. Fantastic Beasts two is uh, a fantasy. Fantastic Beasts two, you're saying is fantasy. A Quiet Place is a thriller. Well, a Quiet Place is thriller. A Quiet Place, you want thriller. Ready play. Mulk. Yeah, uh, Mulk is uh, courtroom drama. Mulk is courtroom drama. Mulk, you want to go for courtroom drama? You can use the yeah, game portal. And the Ready Player One is science fiction. Ready Player One, science fiction. Ready Player One, science fiction. Are you sure of all these? Do you want it still clarify? We still have time. We should just. Ashwin, uh, uh, a quiet place. Uh, I'll just take a look. Yeah, I think we're fine. Sure. With that. Uh, Fantastic Beasts Two, fantasy. Yeah. That's good enough. Lock it in? Lock yeah, it. Okay, lock it in. You've been very quick on that. Come on in, Ashwin. Let's see how you've fared in this round. Infinity War, you said superhero. Is the right answer. Well done. Fantastic Beast 2. Fantasy. Right answer again. A quiet place, you said thriller. Smart answer again. Ready player one, science fiction. Right answer again. And Mulk, you said courtroom drama. You seem to know your movies, you've got them all right, well done. 250 points plus you get your bonus. Okay, then we have our scores at the end of round three. DPS Newtown Kolkata has picked up momentum. They are at 600 points. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Code have 650. But we have a new leader, Ameya and Ajinkya from Abhinav Vidyalay Pune are leading now with 800 points. Our troops are all set for our final round. So it's only fair that I remind you exactly how the battle lines are drawn. Let's take a look at the scores at this stage and they are fascinatingly close dps newtown kolkata 600 bharatiya vidya bhavan kodi code 650 abhinav vidyalay pune 800 that's right it's been an incredible journey so far and to mark the beginning of a new season of newsways we've got two very special guests with us today They've been here, worn the t-shirts, driven the car. Please welcome the first ever champions of Newswiz 2016's winners, Navya Uberoy and Pranab Bhogal, formerly of Springdale's Dhalakua. Wow, wonderful to see you. So yeah. what's it been like to come back to the stage where you became Newswiz champions? You know, when I heard the music, I suddenly had a spurt of adrenaline because it, I'm reliving it. Uh, it's all coming back. I started the music with tension, so I started <laughs> getting nervous. So what are you doing now with your lives? We'll be starting college soon, so I'll be starting in September. So what about you? I'm going to the States in the next 10 days. And My what are you going to go and study? I will study physics. You're going to study physics? Yes. My God. What about you? So I'm going to US as well, so I will be studying computer engineering. All the very best. Thank you. Navya, Pranav, Thank you. have a great time. Okay, let's just then play round four. Remember, this is the round that is critical. In this round, fortune favors the brave and misfortune could befall the foolhardy. You've got to take a few chances, but not so many that you miss your chance. The round of rounds, the ace of spades, the arena of doom. Call it what you want. We're just going ahead and calling it News Buzz. In this round, we will ask five audio-visual questions that are open to all teams on the buzzer. A correct answer will get you 100 points, while an incorrect answer means you lose 100 points. Questions must be answered the moment the buzzer is pressed. Otherwise, it's an instant minus 100. Questions don't pass in this round. All clear? Let's buzz. Okay, teams. This is where the excitement builds up. Griya, you have any final words for the teams? Remain really, really calm. This is where it counts the most. May the best team win. Super excited. Super excited for all of you.
Okay, may the best team win. All of you are winners. You're here in this big televised round. 500 points at stake. Hands on the buzzer, my young friends, for the audio-visual round. Your first question then on News Buzz is an audio question. On whose 38th death anniversary was this song released? Take a look. Badan pe sitare lapete hoye O jaan tamanna kudar ja rahi ho Zara paas aao to jaena jaan Zara paas aao to jaena PPS Newtown Kolkata has gone for the buzzer, yes. Kishore Kumar. I'm afraid it's the wrong answer. The right answer is the other legend of Indian music when it comes to male playback singing, Mohammad Rafi, was the right answer. On 31st of July, it was Rafi's death anniversary. Anil Kapoor presented this song from his film Fanne Khan on Twitter as a tribute to Rafi. You've lost a hundred points there, DPS, but you're still in the fight because there are still 400 points to play. The second question on News Buzz is a video question. Identify the country from this video you're about to see. DPS Newtown Kolkata Buzz first, yes. Rwanda. Rwanda is the right answer. Well done. That is Prime Minister Modi when he was in Rwanda recently. He gifted 200 cows to a model village on the 24th of July. DPS Newtown Kolkata, you're back at 600. Your third question is another video question. From this trailer, name the title of the series to be released on an online streaming platform. Take a look. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan has gone for it. Bahubali before the beginning. Bahubali before the beginning says Anamika. It's the right answer. Well done. That's right, Netflix made that big announcement, Bahubali before the beginning, an adaptation of The Rise of Sivagami, a prequel novel to that mega hit 2015 film, Bahubali. Okay, let's see who's going to be the Bahubali of Newswiz. Two more questions to go. 200 points at stake. The gap is down to just 50 between Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan and Abhinav Vidyalay Pune. Your fourth question, my young friends, is... Name the country where this structure is located that was recently opened. Take a look. DPS Newtown Kolkata has gone for it. The answer is Vietnam. You said Vietnam. It's the right answer. Well done. That is the Khao Vang or the Golden Bridge in Vietnam that was opened in June. It sits over 1,000 meters above sea level in Vietnam. DPS Newtown Kolkata, you're in the race also. You're at 700. Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Kod, 750. Abhinav Vidyalay Pune, 800. Your fifth and final question. Hands on the buzzer, my friends. In which country? Did this incident recently take place? Take a look carefully. Vamos a apostar por el bien de nuestro país. Okay, watch the answer. Venezuela. Venezuela is the right answer. Well done. Venezuela is the right answer. That was the Venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro who was speaking at a military event in Caracas when an attack occurred through drones against him. He's been in the news and under fire because of hyperinflation in his country. Venezuela is the right answer. And that means that we have a tie at the top because now we have DPS Newtown Kolkata 800 points 
Abhinav Vidyalai Pune also with 800 Bharatiya Vidya Bhavan Kodi Code with 750 which means there will be a tiebreaker question between DPS Newtown and Abhinav Vidyalai to decide who wins the first round of News Wiz 2018. Only these two teams now get a chance. Hands on the buzzer with the sixth and final question, the tiebreaker question. It's a video. Blooming once in 12 years. Yes. Ne Neela Kurinji. Neela Kurinji flower. From this, uh, Neela Kurinji flower from Western Ghats in Kerala. Blooming once in 12 years, which is this flower from which a hill range is believed to derive its name is what I ask you. Take a look at the video. You said Neela Kurunji flower. You have staged one of the best comebacks in Houston. Ashwin, and come on now, well done. Come on in. It's the right answer. Come on in, parents, come on in. Okay, that's a remarkable comeback. Ameya, Ajinkya, you were wonderful. Griya, thank you very much. And the team from Kodi Code, you played excellently as well. You were just 50 points behind. But Ashwin and Tamogno, you are our big winners today. Congratulations to the parents. Great answer. You deserve a very big hand for that. What a cracking episode to start off News Wiz 2018. Went down as always to the wire. The spirit of News Wiz is alive and well. And it says, like a recent song in the film Sanju, Pigla de Zanjire, Banaun ki Shamshire, Kar Kar Har Maidan Fateh, O Bandiya Kar Kar Har Maidan Fateh. That's all we have for you this week. Until next time, remember, news is knowledge. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.